Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is the trailer for DLC 4 for Cold War Zombies Forsaken. We already know a bit about it. We'll talk about that more in a second. Just before we get into it, just give me 20 seconds of your time. I'm going to go through a couple of things that we're going to be predicting for this trailer based on actually a bingo card that I saw Nanako's post on Twitter. I actually have done this for uh, trailer reactions in the past where I've basically made trailer bets with like a lot of other YouTubers. And then we've kind of sort of guessed what would come up in it. It's just sort of a fun activity to do. So... My top five things that I think we're going to be seeing in this trailer. Number one, the Chrysalax, which is a pretty obvious one. They've teased it. It would be a surprise if it wasn't in there. So the Chrysalax is number one. Number two, a helicopter flying somewhere. I just feel like helicopters are in all the damn trailers we get these days. A flying helicopter will be in the gameplay in some way or it will be somewhere in there. Number three, Weaver saying, my team has arrived at the facility or something along those lines. Number four, the end of the trailer will have the Magua boss thing that they teased. The dog Magua, chicken leg Magua thing. That's number four. Number five, hmm, what should our number five be? I'm going to say number five, a cool 80s remix. That's what Nando Costa suggested and we're going to go with that. So those are our five bingo, bingo cards uh, for today. We're going to watch the trailer now and see if we were correct about that. Three, two, one, let's begin. You will not get out of here. Alive. Got reports of multiple okay. explosions in Verdansk. Oh god, what have I done? So just so you're aware, this part of the trailer is based on the season 6 cinematic that they posted yesterday. So this stuff is kind of like mixes of old things and stuff like that for now. Shake it off. We're gonna finish what you started. Get ready. Okay, that was a flying helicopter. I don't think that counts for the bingo card, but we'll, we'll wait for it to be in the zombies bit. Maybe there'll be another one. Yes, the dance is blowing up, which is exciting. Yes. It's go time. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Wow. The sky on that. Can we just really... I know this is a zombie's reaction, but look at the sky box, dude. It's like... It's like die rise, dude. Wow. Oh, I'm loving the rhythm. Okay, this is actually really satisfying. Again, I don't think this counts because this is a regular RCXD, not the Ether ACXD or ARCXD. But still, the fact that we're two, we're two out of five already is pretty funny. Come on, plenty more where that came from. You are mine. Now. Dial it up. Yep. A brand new zombies experience. Here we go. Team. Zach off mission priority one. Okay, so all right, let's just let's just keep watching. But already, get to him before Omega. He's radioing in. A little further. Wow. Oh wow, there's so much going on. Teleportation successful. Crunchy light. That was a that was a flying helicopter. That was a flying helicopter. Somebody put this wonder weapon to work. Ooh. Oh. Madness. He's the only freedom. Adler, we have unfinished business. Dude, that was a sick trailer. That was the way that it was like that was that was cool as hell. There's so much in here that we didn't see first time around though, so don't go anywhere. We've got we've got some digging to do right now. Oh, bah, bah, bah. okay, here we go. So first of all, check out the skybox. The fact that there's this portal above us in the sky here is really interesting to me. It's kind of giving like origins -y kind of vibes almost just a little bit which is cool uh, and there's also a portal on the left here which i think the characters are about to walk out of in this next shot i think that's what's going on there we've got bar and grill in this very very sort of old school 80s style doesn't this kind of remind you guys a bit of shadows of evil like this sign especially like doesn't that just isn't do you see what i mean am i or am i am, am i am i crazy about that chat am i crazy anyway we're gonna keep going coming soon nachter on toten bro we already had Nocturne and Toten. Don't, don't tell me Nocturne and Toten's coming back again in Vanguard, and that's what that's hinting towards. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. But the fact that there's a, a film called Night of the Undead is not, is not such a surprise, I suppose. But this is the Death Perception machine. And to be honest, what's kind of weird about this is I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like, like, did people have, like, a leaked image of this on Twitter or something? Like, did that happen? Because, like, 
uh, why does it look familiar? I'm conf I'm confused. I'm confused why that looks familiar to me. What's this sign say in the background? Uh, so that says checkpoint, yeah, but what does this say? It says salon, totally, totally wild salon. Okay, totally wild salon. And so they go through the portal here, and as soon as they get out the other side, wait for it, Kravchenko lied. And the time is 9.42 as well. So this, to me, this whole area to me, looks really interesting because... Not only do we have just a bit of like flavor text on the wall, but also that clock being in such a central position in that room is is going to be tied to the Easter egg somehow. Surely, surely there is going to be Easter egg tied there. It's like, it's just too sus having it in that central like focal point of your vision for it to not be anything in my opinion. Like it's just going to be tied to some kind of Easter egg in some way. I almost guarantee it. And also on the left-hand side, we've got this portrait here. Notice that. That's quite interesting too. Let's keep it moving though. This area looks really cool. Like going down into this bunker here. I really like the vibe of this. And then as soon as they run out, run down and run in there, this puppy, this absolute puppy pops out. But what I want to check is I was right. I was right. Dude, I've been telling people, I've been telling people this thing only had two legs for so long now. Like ever since that trailer, that teaser came out of it as an image, people are like, oh, it's a dog. It's like, it's got four legs. Two of the, two of the legs are just out of frame. But bro, look, it only has two legs. These back legs are like, it's like a, uh, oh, it's a zombie on its tail. <laughs> what? Okay, I didn't know that. That's super weird. The fact that there's a helicopter flying there is just so funny to me. But then there's also that portal in the sky. But yeah, it's Magua dog, but with a zombie tail. Like uh, like one of those dinosaurs. You know those dinosaurs that have that like bulb on the end of their tail and it's like got spikes coming out and they're like smack around with it? Or at least I assume they did. I don't I don't know any dinosaurs personally, but you know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's really interesting. Also, zip lines, of course. I'm not gonna lie. I like the fact that it looks decently lit. Like, it doesn't look super, super dark. And PhD Slider is indeed returning. And to be honest, the machine looks just normal. Like, it doesn't look that crazy. Like, obviously, it's been updated a bit, but it looks pretty familiar, which I think is probably a good thing, to be honest, because it's like that nostalgia perk, right? But yes, PhD is our final perk, and it's PhD Slider now. So, as you can see, you're sliding into the zombies and causing an explosion as opposed to anything else. And then we get the Chrysalax. And I'm not going to lie, I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. And I know people were saying, oh, it's Tomahawk. Nah, this is an axe. It's a melee weapon, dude. And it's a gun. That's what he... I didn't even notice the first time around. I saw him, like, reloading it. And I thought that he was just reattaching the front of it. But no, he's actually just literally using it as a gun in the next shot. That's that's really cool. That's actually really cool. The fact that it's long and short range and there's an arcade here. It's giving me Spaceland vibes. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you guys, but the fact that that's there is pretty cool in my opinion. And yeah, then then we see the dog once again. He's zapping, chat. So overall, I think this has been a pretty damn cool trailer. Like, there's been quite a lot of stuff in here. I like the vibes. I love the way the trailer itself is put together. I think that just in terms of the, the art of it all, I think it's like a 10 out of 10. I think they did a really, really good job with the trailer itself. Uh, also, I just noticed there's a wall gun on the wall there that you can see just sort of peeking through. But yeah, let me know what you think of this trailer in the comments down below, guys. I'm going to wrap the video up here. And of course, I'll be posting guides, no-nonsense guides, Easter eggs, story breakdowns, all sorts of stuff when this map comes out in one week's time on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed, okay? I'll see you guys there. Bye for now.